What's going on guys? It's your boy Az. We are back. Uh, we are going to be talking about the next five we're going to be using for our global section. Now if you guys have already seen my previous videos, uh, you'll know that we used a mix of Shang-Chi, Cloak and Dagger, and then of course uh, two of the Web Warriors, Scarlet and Ghost Spider for the first six nodes. So now that we've got some materials and we've got some gold, we can finally bring up some of these other characters. And of course, right off the bat, uh, we got Emma Frost here. She was my first tier 16 global character. I, uh, I was using her extensively in Arena, especially mixed up with the Eternals, which uh, can actually counter the Darkhold team quite well. Link is in the description if you guys are curious about that. And then of course, I've got the uh, link in the description as well for the first few nodes um for the uh for the city and the uh the uh, the you know the first three nodes with no trade restrictions so that's in there if you guys want to look for it otherwise yeah emma frost i mean she's going to bring that minus 10 percent speed to all enemies and of course that debuff and the blind i think is going to be very very useful especially with the team that we're going to be utilizing uh, i think most people will probably have a very similar team to what i'm running but uh, again i think there might be some variances but i think for the most part i think everyone's going to have probably like uh, the, a mixture of the Secret Avengers mixed in with uh, Lady Deathstrike, Emma Frost, maybe maybe Mr. Sinister. Yeah, there's definitely lots of very good options. Uh, obviously, we can't have Phoenix or Shuri because they're legendaries, but very good options that we can pick and decide. So that brings me to the next pick here. Obviously, no surprises. We're going to bring Doctor Doom up, level six, uh, tier 16. We're going to bring this guy up. Uh, finally, uh, I've had his materials for a bit there, but we're finally going to bring him up. And I think, yeah, for the most part, he uh, trumps in a lot of game modes, and uh, he's still very, very meta. And uh, and for sure, I think uh, I, I I enjoy doing the tech nodes in Doom raids. So of course, this helps us uh, out. Ugh, this helps us out as well because this bumps his stats up even more. Um, extremely, extremely good on more offense and defense. And of course, now with the Crucible. Uh, we've been getting quite a bit of the uh, mystic materials in the store so obviously he uses up mystic materials which sucks a little bit but i think he's worth he's well worth it and uh unfortunately i haven't gotten him up to five red yet but yeah he's going to be a key part uh in uh in the global characters uh section and then i think after doom and emma frost i think everybody uh you you gotta have captain sam he is uh he's gonna bring that defense up he's gonna bring energy he's gonna bring speed up uh, with uh, the scourges as well if there is a global or if there's a hero section uh, he's going to shine in that mode uh, especially now that we have the uh, the second horseman confirmed as well so of course uh, uh, you know of course uh, I think it makes most sense he also dominates in the skill nodes for doom raids so regardless or not uh, he is a very solid choice guys so we're going to bump him up and we're going to bring him to tier 16 as well boom uh, bump in health, bump in damage, bump in armor, all that good stuff. And it, again, I, I have a really, I was very fortunate to get a, a five on him. So yeah, he's decent amount of red stars. Uh, very, very, uh, very powerful character. I think he, he's got to be probably top 10 in my pick. I don't know about his stats and everything with all these crazy new characters, but he's still a top 10 pick in my books. And uh, I love using him in raids, in war, in everything, actually. I tried using him in arena as well. Doesn't work as well against the dark hold, but yeah, he's he's good regardless. So those are the three I I think that are really key because uh, Emma Frost and Captain Sam bring a lot of speed, and uh, essentially, uh, speed is the you know that's the game. We want to be faster than the other guys, and we can we want to be able to land our stuns, disables, and uh, and all that other stuff. But before the other team, so Emma Frost and Sam play a key role in that with the speed reduction. Uh, so now that we have these guys, now you can kind of pick and choose some of the other ones. I think I think a lot of people have LDS. Uh, she's farmable now, which is great, but she's a very solid pick as well. But uh, uh, I feel like because I only have her as a 5 red, 5 yellow, I feel like her stats aren't exactly quite there yet. So I'm going to, because we have Captain Sam, we're going to bring in Sharon. Uh, Sharon is really good because she's also skill. I have a lot of skill materials. Uh, she has that synergy with the Secret Avengers as well, which really is like double dipping. And of course, uh, we already dominate in the skill nodes uh, as well with this team. So why the heck not? So this just helps reemphasize uh, our our logic here. So she's going to be tier 16. Let's see her jump and stats as well. Some health, damage, armor. And really, uh, you know, you don't need to have a big Sharon. I think she's just really crazy strong because of the fact that she's got a lot of utility. She's got that stun 
Uh, she's got the ability block. Uh, that gives us a lot of uh, control on the board. And then again, she applies that defense down as well. So it really, really works with Castro, especially on the skill notes. And uh, yeah, she's a really, really good player as well for Scourge. I used her with Captain Sam in conjunction with the Eternals on the hero nodes. And yeah, awesome. Awesome gameplay. Uh, it was easy to control with these guys. Uh, lots of speed control, lots of disables, lots of stuns. Um, yeah, yeah, awesome. Awesome regardless. So with that in mind, that leaves us with the last character. Uh, unfortunately, I don't have her... Uh, I don't know if I have enough gold, actually. I don't have her up to 85 just yet. Oh, yeah, I do have enough gold. So, I don't know if I have enough to upgrade her. Oh, it might be a little tight here. Let's, uh, yeah, it, it might be a little tight. But, yeah, I'm not going to bring I'm not gonna bring her up just yet because we can't. Uh, we're going to wait till we get some more gold here, I think. I think it's going to be pretty tight because it, it's about 400,000 to bring her up after that. And we're at 1.4 right now. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to show you guys the gameplay footage today. But you guys get the gist. Uh, we'll bring Maria up. And then we'll bump her up to tier 15 or 16 as well. Uh, we have all the mats. We have all the gear. Uh, I, I ran the math and hopefully I didn't do anything wrong. But yeah, it's, her gear should be set. Uh, she's got all the required resources. Once we bring her up to level 85, we'll bring her up. And yeah, and that will be the team. Let's just favor these guys so you can see it here. Uh, I guess we don't really need to favor them because they're already kind of one of my higher global characters. So it doesn't matter. But you guys can see they're at the top of the board. Um, obviously there is some other nice picks like LDS. She's good, uh, because she's got that speed control as well. She's got the bleeds. She's on the, uh, weapon X team. Uh, we've got some of the, uh, the dark hole team as well. I mean, unfortunately, I feel like these standalone characters aren't as good because they're not on a team together. And that's why, we, that's why I kind of stuck with my niche. Uh, if you're going to have a team of global characters, you should stick with a team that has synergy. So, I mean, if we could pick dark hold obviously uh you would need to have like scarlet witch wong um morgan lefay but then of course we can't really use morgan lefay because uh, she's a legendary so it doesn't really make sense and i mean you could potentially i think uh, i've seen other people uh having three secret avengers plus doom and then instead of emma frost they've used either saber tooth uh, Wolverine, um, some of the other mutants kicking around here. So really, it's up to you guys what you want to do. But I think for the best value and the best five, um, Emma Frost is always very relevant in all game modes. She's a villain as well, which, again, coincides with the Scourges. So I think she's really good there. And she has synergy with Doom uh, because uh, because he's also a villain. And uh, you can use the two of them together in the Scourges. And then, of course, the three secret Avengers, they've got synergy through Global Hero, uh, skill nodes. Um, yeah, just lots of bonuses there. So that's the five guys. And I will do my best to get some footage out to you guys. Hopefully it's not too crazy of a weekend for me, but, uh, we'll see if we get some footage out once we get to Mar once we get Maria up and yeah, hopefully, uh, I think, I think because she's a healer and Emma Frost is a healer as well, we're going to probably change one of them to skirmisher, probably Emma Frost. I, uh, I do like her as a skirmisher, so we'll see how that goes. Anyways, guys, that's the five we've picked. Uh, I will get some footage out to you guys as soon as I can, and hopefully we can do some one-shots uh, as uh, as per usual, hopefully. If not, try to do it in one or two shots, maybe three shots. We'll see how these nodes are. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching, and uh, we will see you guys next time.